anything tournament related, rules related, or on the floor staff related, buck stops here. Mm -hmm. And together with the floor chief and the pairing chief, the three of us along with the chess control manager basically make all the decisions related to running the tournament smoothly. And also, I, I can imagine that there are things that you would never expect would happen that you have to decide how to handle. Of course. I mean, there are sometimes emergency, emergency situations that happen. Um, I always think of chest control as the front line and sort of the first responders. And then sometimes we have to get involved if there is uh, conflicts that need to be mm -hmm. resolved on site or staffing issues or perhaps an illness or something that we might have to deal with and escalate to an event staff level. But uh, yeah, I mean, we just have to be prepared for the uh, unknowables. <laughs> is this your first time as a chief at a national scholastic? Yes, it is. Right. It's exciting and uh, quite an honor. Mm -hmm. Well, the floor chief is responsible for making sure that our staff is out there, um, making the tournament run smoothly, making sure that the hands that are up out on the floor are answered. They take care of the rulings. They take care of gathering up the slips. And I'm there to support our staff, to support the players and take care of any questions and concerns that they have that the parents and coaches may have and to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as possible. Have you been a floor chief before at other events? I have been a floor chief once before, yes. And you've been a chief tournament director as well, haven't you? I have at the Great National two years ago. Uh, I'm responsible for all of the records of this tournament uh, from the time the registrations come to me from chess control through the pairings through posting things online through backing things up all the way to the end when I am writing the tournament while everybody is packing up the back room okay and you you may be hearing noises in the background because we are doing this in the nerve center of the tournament yes. which is the back room so people are coming and going and and printers are going so and my uh, cell phone is going off pretty constantly yeah, so, yeah. yeah. as chess control manager i deal with a staff um, who sits and answers a lot of questions from parents from players issues they may have. We take all the registrations on, that are available on site um, by request. So they're, we're the upfront people that they come to um, if they have any concerns or issues. I also am in charge of the award ceremonies and making sure they run well and we have a staff to fill all the roles in presenting all those awards. My kids started playing when I think my son was in first or second grade. I should know, but I don't remember. My daughter in second or third grade. And we just liked the whole culture. And I started as a chess mom and then moved my way up from scorekeeping and setting up boards to just attaining a club TD certification. And then from there, here so I am. So how many years has it been since your, your son was in first grade? I think that we started this whole uh, world subculture of chess in 2008. And our first, I believe, Super Nationals was 2009 in Nashville. So started out as a volunteer and then moved into the TD role. I was working locally in Tucson, Arizona as uh, one of the mm -hmm. floor TDs there and uh, was asked to move up along the way uh, over the years to higher levels of certification. And there are various levels of certification, so it usually does take quite a bit of time and experience in tournaments to get to the various levels. Um, fortunately, I've had a lot of great mentors and been able to have a lot of opportunities to run, help run chess tournaments. So, uh, Right now, I have uh, National Tournament Director Certification, and in December of last year, I uh, got my International Arbor Certification as well. What made you start as a TD? My, both of my kids played chess mm -hmm. from the time they were in kindergarten, 
And so uh, I'm not a mom that is comfortable just sitting and waiting uh, for the rounds to get over. So I needed to be active and the chess community is obviously very active. So it, right. if you want to get involved, there's always ways for you to get involved and and become tournament directors and move move up the ladder. And how long have you been a tournament director yourself? I have been a an unrated tournament, a director for unrated tournaments since 2004. I directed my first US chess tournament in May 2007 at a club that I organized with a friend of mine. How long have you been working at Chess Controls? Oof, that's a, I'm not sure. Um, it's been a while. Um, my first experience was at the Super Nationals in Kansas City when um, Ralph Bowman asked me to come and just take care of award ceremonies. And then after that event, um, it grew into working at Chess Control. Do you remember what Super Nationals that was? I don't know the yeah. number of yeah. it. It was just the one in Kansas City, so. Okay, well. It's we'll, been a while, you we'll, have to look it up. Well, yeah, we'll look it up. Well, I've certainly seen a change. And one of my mentors is, I'm now fortunate to work with uh, Karen Pennock, uh, but uh, others that have been from Arizona, Kim Kramer and Michelle Martinez, we've all been involved with, in this for over a decade. And then of course, Carol Jarecki, who has mentored many of us and Susan Breeding. So I've seen an increase, but would like to see more credits extended to women so that they can get the higher certification levels. Well, it's definitely increased a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I was first starting as a tournament director, there really weren't that many uh, female directors that were out there working the national events, especially. So what I'm seeing now is a lot more involvement with with the females and because of the girls club and those who are working really hard to get more females involved, mm -hmm. I see it increasing and, and that's exciting. It's gotten a lot better. Um, I think at the higher levels, there, there, there have been a lot of women who are not a lot, but better representation at the lower levels than at the higher levels. Um, We've a lot of us in the in the last few years have made NTD, um, which is the highest certification level. A bunch of us have been added. I think in the last I don't know since 2017. I think there's been more added since I made NTD in 2017. So it's getting better. You see it becoming um, much more vibrant and uh, more involved. The women being involved. Um, I think having the girls club has been such a rewarding experience. Um, parents are so excited that they've had the girls, their daughters um, have had this experience while they're at events and they come and just rave about their time here. And I think that only is gonna help grow the excitement and interest in, in chess. Um, but it's been great to see the number of women who have been actively participating and even some of the moms now that are becoming more active.